Okay, let's take a look at the FFT capability on the HMO 1002 and 1202 series of scopes. Um, what I have right now is I just have a square wave um, that I'm outputting on the pattern generator. Um, it's a square wave at 5 megahertz, um, so we'll have some good harmonics that we can take a look at. Um, one of the first things you'll notice is that there's a dedicated FFT button on the um, scope, and we'll go ahead and turn on the FFT capability. And the next couple things that you'll notice are um, the fact that we split the display. So you can still see the actual waveform itself up above, um, and then we have the FFT uh, down below. And a couple things to notice. One, you can control the span of the signal that you're looking at by using the horizontal um, division control. Um, you can also use a position control to change where the um, signal is located on the screen and um, essentially set your center frequency. And so we'll set our center frequency at 25 megahertz. We've got a span of 50 megahertz. Um, and now you can see that as we come through, our first harmonic is at 5 megahertz. Um, our third harmonic is here at 15 megahertz. Our fifth harmonic is at 25 megahertz, right on the center frequency um, piece itself. A couple other things that are really kind of unique in this class of scope. Um, you can adjust your Y scaling. Um, you can change your windowing capability. Um, you can also adjust the mode that we're operating in. So you can do an envelope mode, um, and you can also do an average mode um, that allows you to, to really pull small signals out of um, the noise, for lack of a better term, and be able to see uh, tiny spurs that might be popping up. You can adjust the number of averages. Um, you can also adjust the number of points. And so the number of points um, can go all the way up to 130,000 um, roughly points for the FFT, and, and that's going to give you additional resolution on the FFT itself. And one very cool capability that it has is the ability to come in and turn on cursors, and the cursors, cursors will go through and actually find the peaks for you. So we can say, let's find the previous peak. Um, we'll go to the very first one, as you can see, it's at 5 megahertz. Um, if we go to the next peak, uh, so this is interesting, you can see that we can barely pull out the second harmonic at 10 megahertz. Um, and then we can go ahead and step to the next peak after that. This one's third harmonic at 15 megahertz, um, fourth harmonic at 20, fifth harmonic at roughly 25 megahertz. Um, so very powerful capability to make it very easy to be able to see information on the display um, and not have to guess and have the scope actually measure it for you.